you a few home safety tips to keep your home protected while you're away on summer vacation, which is really important. Lieutenant Ellis Sinclair with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office joins me with more. So good morning to you, Lieutenant. Hey, good morning, Tara. So safety tips, which we all need to know because a lot of us are taking summer vacations during this time. We're out on trips with our families and we're leaving our homes, right? That's correct. All right. So what are the, some of those major tips that we need to know? Some of the tips that... Uh, they need to know is that first of all, I wouldn't talk about that I'm going on vacation on social media. That's a big, that's a biggie right there. Yes, because it is. we're all linked in on something: right. Twitter, Facebook. Burglars are on social media, and that is a, one of the prime targets that they'd be looking for, just to see who's talking about who's going where. And you don't want to be a victim. You know, social media can get you into a whole lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. What about some of those other tips? Because typically, what if you don't use social media? What if, you know, you're away on vacation and, you know, you want to just keep your home, you know, safe away from any burglars or robbers that may come in? So what do you what do? You do? What, do you, uh, what you can do is continue to make your house livable, you know, okay. uh, such as if you got lawn care service and you're going to be gone away for a long period of time, let them continue to cut that grass. Uh, also, too, at night, uh, it's not bad to invest in some light timers for different rooms of the house at different times. You know, that way, um, people who are observing, you know, they see a light come on, they say, hey, maybe there is somebody in there. Because if you leave a burning light on for a long period of time and people are watching, they assume that, hey, nobody's in that home. Also, too, the shrubbery around your home, too, you know, try to keep that cut down as much as possible and try to keep it lit on the outside as well, especially at night. So pretty much don't make any drastic changes to let people know that you're gone. That's correct. Keep it lit, keep it cut, you mm -hmm. know, still if you have someone coming in and do maintenance, keep, keep them doing that. That's correct. Also, too, uh, the citizens may not be aware that the Bibb County Sheriff's Department, we do offer, you know, patrol requests. Okay. And if you are going out of town, you know, just contact that uh, local precinct in your area and let them know that you're going out of town and request that they would ride by, you know, to check on your home. We do do that, and that is free of charge. Yeah. Well, most people don't know. Well, some people don't know that, that's but that's correct. always a good tip as well. Yes, Keep your is. local law enforcement in your pocket, right? Right, and then let family know that you're going out of town as well, too. You know, if you don't trust leaving your mail in the mailbox a long period of time, have a family member to come by and, you know, retrieve your mail because people will walk by. True enough, it's against the law to open other people's mailbox, but they open up people's mailbox just to see, and they see a pile of mail mm -hmm. in your mailbox. They know that somebody is not at home. And what about counting on your neighbor? Oh, and counting on your neighbor, too. Let the neighbor know, too. You know, a trusted neighbor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, not just any neighbor. Not just any the neighbor. The neighbor you like. <laughs> right, there you go. Yeah, let them know that you're going to be out of town, too. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Lieutenant, for sharing all these tips with us. You're Hopefully, welcome. you will be safe away on your summer vacations, and so will your home. Stay with us. We'll be right back.